So. चल रहा है इट्स वर्किंग आई हैव टू गो इन हिंदी इंग्लिश हिंदी अंग्रेजी पहाड़ी बिकॉज द मैक्सिमम ऑडियंस ओवर हेयर इज द इंग्लिश ऑडियंस सो आई एम गोइंग टू बी ऑडिबल इन इंग्लिश बट आई कैन फॉल्ट इन हिंदी और बेसिकली इन हिंदी आई कैन बी fantastic because in english you know some language some abuses are less in english so we were talking about can i have some actually i had a mukbang right just half an hour before so my ass is on fire can i have this just send me this three more okay these beers are awesome okay. so we were talking about see zing ping many of the you know ladies from america and china asked me to do a podcast on say zing ping and tell my expertise on it basically it's a very common thing of a military coup in the countries where democracy is not have you heard of any military coup in a vibrant democracy like india because the basic reason for the military coup in non democratic countries is that the structure of that country is totally dependent on some people due to which the local people are not that much power it's as simple as that there is a body builder who is having a lot of power and he is surrounded by some people who are totally you know thin and less powerful the diet of that bodybuilder it's an example try to understand the diet of that bodybuilder is double of those people because those people are not getting food to eat we can see that that bodybuilder is eating their food same happens in the countries which are not democratic now in a democratic country like india why this cannot happen because we have divided power among people even a small sarpanch here is very powerful not only a sarpanch a government employee is also very powerful and if you have the basic understanding of indian law and basic understanding of indian constitution then nobody can touch you without any reason this is until and unless you have not done any illegal activities so what happened in china Xi Jinping, who was a very influential leader, and overnight, now he is just in house arrest and not that much powerful because he was never powerful. He was just a face of the military over there. and after a period of time 
when military thinks that this person is not obeying our rules military of that particular country then military coup takes place we have heard of many military coups in pakistan recently if you have heard it's it was in myanmar maybe if it happens in future with the, with russian president putin putin do it's very tough because putin has a big impact on world politics right now many people hates him but still so military of russia knows that and putin has a big understanding of russian military because he has served over there in a very big post so so far it's not so possible to do the same with putin now the chinese military coup is going to affect overall asian subcontinent basic basically the most importantly south china sea i am not going to discuss the south china sea importance over here it's very deep you can check but in short south china sea is a place near china like we have here different kinds of you know there are borders which are also not only land but also marinal borders south china sea is very important because there are small and chi the chinese impact want to stop america also now if the military coup in china and the new successor in china tries to overcome and tries to get more and more power then it is a very big possibility that they can attack taiwan now attacking taiwan is a very big possibility from chinese side many people are talking about the future impact and this is what the big future impact that can be chinese aggression not only on taiwan but chinese aggression on the parts of india arunachal pradesh sikkim and other borders including uttarakhand because when the military sees that that the ambition of military are not getting successful and their success or the current leaders like jin ping are unable to proceed on the activities that can lead to minute wars and increasing chinese territory the military of that particular country does a military coup when their ambitions get delayed this is the main reason now all the airlines for now has been cancelled i was going to travel to beijing to take some massage but now i have to cancel my trip so i am going to thailand to take some thai massage in the same way if you are going to china if you are traveling to china and some people some one to my friend are also there in china better is stay wherever you are because if something goes up and down we will be not able to see you upside down because the chinese military is really really very very crazy i said crazy not powerful we have seen there are they are they can be powerful with equipments but not that powerful not this powerful that they can do the same thing with india which they want to do with china, taiwan because indian leadership at this moment is really very powerful if you cannot believe this you need to fact check 
some last incident and how India captured back the old five checkpoints from China. Now, what is going to happen to Jinping? Will he be imprisoned? Will they terminate him? I don't think so that they will terminate him. Because when a serious crime has been committed by any authority, then the termination is done. He is just removed, thrown away, because now he is no more for use of them. He is out. Now, big thing, big question, what will be the impact on world politics and basically what will be the impact on Russia, Russia's aggression, as well as United States and China's relations are going to worse and worsen or they can improve. There are no chances of any improvement right now. What I think clearly without any diplomacy, nothing new is going to happen. Same bullshits will continue. Same bullshits which were happening will continue. You, we saw a military coup in Myanmar. We saw a military coup many times in history in Pakistan. Now same bullshits will continue. This can be the possibility that in future the new successor can come with some over ambitious plans like attacking India, not basically attacking, but trying to attack India or Taiwan, but all the bullshit will be same and nothing else. So this was about podcast about Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping and China military group. We will be continuing with our podcast sessions and Mr. President, is also coming very soon to teach you live yoga classes to reveal the power of my fitness with mukbang sessions and many more so stay tuned stay connected i know nobody is watching right now but very soon we will be a country of billions thank you everybody